My name is Roger Isomis Jr. I'm writer and director, and this is Finding Me True. This has got to be the longest I've known you to be in a relationship. Me and Reggie are keeping it nice and simple. What about you and Tammy? Uh, we are keeping it nice and nasty. He's cheating on me! Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? I'm gonna wait until I see him with another woman or a man. Oh, Lord! Please don't let it be another man. <laughs> Um, the film is a film about relationships. These characters are three characters. We find out about their, well, the core characters in their relationship and then their extended relationships. And you just find out how they're evolving and finding themselves through this journey of the film. Now, finding me true, how does that resonate within your life and what you're trying to get across? Well, I think every moment in our lives is a finding me moment. and. Truth is just another aspect. Aspect. So the first film that I had, which was Finding Me Identity, that's the actual the name of it, was one part, and now Truth is the second phase. And so, I think you're always finding yourself until the day you die. Parts of yourself that you didn't know. So suppose you and I took a break and you saw me with another man. How hard would you fight to win me back? A break? Yeah, like we had a little rough patch and we had to take a break. Why wouldn't we just break up? Because that's not the scenario. Okay, can you repeat the question? How hard would you fight to win me back from this other man? Mm, that doesn't sound like me. What doesn't sound like you? You're fighting to win somebody back. Well, can you pretend it's you? Oh, okay. I fight pretty damn hard, I guess. <laughs> Why doesn't it sound like something you would do? Because if that rough patch is so rough that we need to take a break, why not just break up? Um, Obstacles was, because it was a bigger production, um, it was harder because the lack of money was still very resonant. And so that challenge doesn't go away, especially when you're doing independent film. So you do want to go bigger, you want to get to the next step, because every time you're doing a film, you want it to be better than the last. So that was my, that was my goal, and I think we achieved that. Expect the unexpected. It will leave you friendless. <gasps> Finding me true. Yes, there's a, a lot more additions to the, the original cast. Um, Amira has a boyfriend. Uh, Greg has a situation going on. Um, Fabian, through his journey, meets some new people. So. And then Jay even has a, a, I don't want to call him a boyfriend, but a love interest in it. So, yeah, it's a definite bigger cast in this one. The truth will come out. It always does. What's the relationship between you and TLA? TLA is a distribution company that uh, distributed both Finding Me and Finding Me True. And they've been great the whole way, you know. We screened our film at their festival, and then they we got distribution with them, which is a dream for my first film. Not many first-time filmmakers can say that for their feature film, so that, that was just great. What, um, how'd you get the, the film in this, in this, in this venue? Uh, a lot of work between my production company and Omi Productions in TLA. We worked together and we, we got it done. Specific relationship with the theater? or No, this is our first time being at this theater, but it's so cool. It's like this old school theater in New York, and this is authentic New York, so you can't beat that. So now you're the other man. Is that what you want to be known as? I mean, there's physically cheating on someone, and then there's mental. The mental is deeper. There's this whole connection that can't be touched by anybody. I just feel like you're mad at me or something. This isn't about you. I think immediately people see the sex and the sexuality as a prominent point, but it's not. The point of the film is the journey of finding oneself. Everyone can relate to it. And in the film, we have a bisexual, a homosexual, a heterosexual. So that makes up the whole, almost whole world. We're missing uh, tra uh, transgender and all that. But I think the film is a universal film that anyone can relate to, anyone. You're watching Sonic Eclectic.